Vascular autoregulation refers to the intrinsic ability of many vessels in the body, particularly those of the brain, kidney, and heart, to alter their muscle tone to maintain relatively constant blood flow over a wide range of blood pressure. This diagram lets you play with the concept of vascular autoregulation in the context of the relationship between pressure, flow, and resistance. You can use the slider to adjust the pressure. This is mean arterial pressure, and see how the flow varies. The pressure shown on the horizontal axis represents mean systemic arterial pressure. In someone without hypertension, below 100 millimeters of mercury is in the normal range. Remember that we're talking about mean pressure. The curve shown is representative of vessels with the most effective autoregulation, that is heart, brain, and kidney vessels. Here are some key points you should get out of the diagram. If you drag the slider to increase the pressure, you can see how the equation shown near the top changes. Bigger words and up arrows signify an increase in a quantity. Notice how the vessel constricts, increasing its resistance proportional to the increase in pressure. As long as the pressure is within the autoregulatory range, there is no change in flow, as you can see by the unchanged flow arrow and word in the equation. Now let's say you increase the pressure beyond a certain point. The curve steepens and flow increases. The vessel has reached its limit of vasoconstriction. You can see from the equation up top that resistance can no longer change and flow increases, with increases in pressure beyond that point. If instead the pressure falls, you can see that the vessel is able to alter resistance, this time via vasodilation, over a broad range to keep flow constant. Once again, the change in resistance is proportional to the decrease in pressure, so that flow doesn't change. Once pressure falls below a certain level, shown here around 60 millimeters of mercury, the vessel has reached its limits of dilation. With resistance no longer changing, you can see from the equation how further decreases in pressure lead to reductions in blood flow. 